Hi, in this episode of Game Beginner's Guide, we are going to start discussing the clone tool. Now this is one of the most powerful and useful tools in GIMP. You can use it to repair images. For example, if you have a, if you have a digital image and you have something that you don't want to see there, let's say a person or some garbage or whatever, there is some mistake in the image, you can use the clone tool to uh, copy an area of the image to that unwanted content and uh, remove it and blend it so the image looks whole and uh, like that mistake or object was never there this is one of the ways you can use that too probably the most common one another way to use it is to paint with a pattern you can select this instead of an image you can select the source to be a pattern and you see how quickly you can paint with that let's undo that and also you can use it to to copy uh, data from an image to another image or from one layer to another very quickly and very easily we'll see an example of that too now let's start with the options here the first option mode we already discussed that in the brush tool I'm not going back here opacity again uh, you know what that means already here with the clone tool this may come in handy sometimes to make smoother transitions also brushes here typically you want to use a fuzzy brush to make again smoother transitions and uh, to make the image look like it's not been manipulated the next thing scale here again nothing new the size of our brush again we can control that with the brackets uh, brush dynamics talked about that too best use with a tablet fade out again we talk about that apply jitter also we've talked about that in the previous paint tools now hard edge here we already talked about that I'm gonna repeat what that means for example if I clone right now and let's select the hard edge brush I clone here let's go to image source I clone here and I zoom in really close you see how even we are with a hard edge brush right now there is a smooth transition here you see how the pixels are getting less and less opaque now let's zoom out now if I use this option here hard edge let's zoom in again you see here how uh, the edges are hard there is no smooth transition and even if you're using a uh, fuzzy brush the edges will be hard again like this so this is what this hard edge option means now we'll continue in the next video with source and alignment